thrifted time. Gertrude Stein penned the famous line, a rose is a rose is a rose. But Gertrude was wrong. A rose isn't always a rose. Sometimes it can be the sign of a miracle. Good morning! We're about to puck up another Monday morning with Roses and Rosewood, right here on the Thrift Store One Down. If you're new around here, that's where we showcase, by order of the title, Friends, The Bachelor, and Pretty Little Liars. As always, on a budget. This year we've been doing this through the power of OK Magazine. It's been fun, but alas, for them, it's the end of the run. This is the April 9th, 2018 issue. We have here Carrie's baby heartbreak, the inside story of a pregnancy pain as husband Mike walks out on her 35th birthday. Carrie Underwood, hockey player husband Mike Fisher. As you know by now, OK Magazine certainly leaves a lot to be desired in the authenticity department. So this is bunk, as are these two other stories. This has some merit. Catherine Zeta Jones and Michael Douglas. Their love triumphs over tragedy. So, Forget about the other three stories, and let's just move on. Firstly, by taking the recipe out of OK's Celebrity Cookbook. I know, it's a shocker that I usually don't go for recipes out of celeb magazines. But in the case of 11-year-old Parker Bates, aka Kevin Pierce on NBC's This Is Us, and his lit shrimp pasta, I'm willing to make an exception. What part of this doesn't sound enticing to you on a Monday night, or any other weeknight? A gluten-free pretty easy to whip up recipe that takes about a half an hour and serves four pretty easy by the way being indicated on this five pan skill level two out of five happy pans so pretty easy three would be simple don't ask me before on five i used to know that if we're going that way but anyway all that concocted by one mega talented 11 year old on one of nbc's gargantuan rating smashes that's a pretty nifty equation. So let's move on and figure out which part of the trifecta that this series covers will we start off with today. Roses and Rosewood, pucked up, puck it up. Hollywood's hidden talents. Acting and modeling made them famous, but these stars have other tricks up their sleeves, like Neil Patrick Harris. Speaking of him being a magician on the side, you'll want to stay tuned because David has some tricks up his sleeve coming up on the Romero Roundup. But now, back to business. These stars could have been big league contenders if they weren't already killing it in showbiz. Our beloved Chandler was a nationally ranked junior tennis player. I know, Chandler was a Venus technician. <laughs> or one of the most famous transposters this side of an electrician business. But anyway, Maddie was a nationally ranked junior tennis player in the state of Canada. But when he moved to LA at 15, the competition was decidedly stiffer. I realized I wouldn't be playing tennis for a living, he said, so I went for acting. And that's just about the most faithful career change he ever made. This image, by the way, reminds me of one of those Stay in the Life shows back in the 90s. Fox had an episode all about Matthew Perry and his tennis prowess. Watch. Meet Matthew Perry of Friends on a day with a one-hour special Monday. For me, I can't play tennis to save my soul, but I would love to play against Matthew Perry. Or maybe team up with him and love some pointers. And maybe even get some trade secrets on how I can score a babe like Monica Gala. Oh, that would be a dream. We'll have a double shot of Chandler for you later. But for now, let's get to the Rosewood part of the show. Emily Fields, Shay Mitchell. This is a fashion segment. Let your hair sing. Heading to Coachella, take inspiration from the Stars Music Festival Strand style. I know Coachella this year's been there, done that. But when you got Shay Mitchell involved, I'm willing to make an exception. Bohemian Rhapsody. Long layers are just too basic for a fun festival. Wrapping colorful feathers of yarn around sections of hair, or to baby braids like Chanel Iman or our beloved Emily Fields, gives fans a playful Bohemian vibe. Cue every hardcore machine out there swooning to Kingdom Come. Just as we have a double shot of Chandler from Friends, we're gonna have a double shot of PLL, but not two Shay. One Emily, and one O! 
Olivia! Lucy Hale! Or in this case, Olivia from Truth or Dare, starring opposite Tyler Posey from Teen Wolf in this OK Entertainment movie preview. It's all fun and games until someone dies. By now, you know what I think about Truth or Dare. I can't really formulate a judgment because I haven't seen it yet. Although I bought a DVD off of Amazon, which was a complete failure. I don't care if I have to go to FYE and score a copy of that DVD for 5 10 bucks. I want to see Truth or Dare, and I'm going to see it one day. And when I do, you'll know about it here. Let's move on to some sound bites. Celebrities saying the dotted states. And this is your bachelor mention for today. Coming via Charlie Theron. I open a bottle of wine, take a bath like it already, and that's my date night. I date the show. And she's not alone. A-listers and B-listers like her have a soft spot for the Bachelor franchise. It's probably the safest and most peculiar way to commit polyamory. Through the screen. Forgive me, I might have inherited some values from my father, may God rest his soul. Besides, there aren't two of me running around, at least not anymore. Hunting down girls like Dog the Bounty Hunter hunts down his booty. God, it's so weird to say that. But you do what you gotta do. Perhaps she can join the ranks of Demi Lovato and Gigi Hadid and engage in a bachelorette alumni summer flame. There's still plenty of time left, and Charity Lawson season begins next month, so... She's bound to have some charming pick of the litter. Down below. Oh, there you are, Perry. Looks like he's listing his plus property for $12.5 million. Located in LA with three bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, screening room with windows that look into a pool, a resort-style backyard, 3,821 feet of square footage, the over-the-top patio features a pond, fire pitch, and an LED-lit infinity pool accessible from the master suite. Florida Simi windows set above the Sunset Strip allow for 180-degree views of L.A. Man, he's living large! And if he's living large, one can only dream how Chandler's doing. Perhaps he's in some Long Island or Westchester suburbs with Monica and their twins, Erica and Jack. Such idyllic suburban spinoffs like that only exist in Friends fan fictions. One last feature, Tiffany Haddish, by the numbers. Fun, fast figures about your favorite celebs. In this case, one of your favorite new comedians on this block. Her net worth $2 million, but this stat matters most to me. And she's definitely a fierce talent, by the way. She might be a little flawed, but she is a fierce talent. 7 minutes, 25 seconds. That's the length of Jay-Z's Moonlight music video, which was a parody of Friends. Tiffany portrayed Lisa Kudrow's Phoebe. Very few people will argue with Tiffany's portrayal of Phoebe in the black version of Friends, but I'm of the opinion that Asa Tyler, who portrayed mm, Joey's, one of Joey's girlfriends on Friends, you know, Charlie Wheeler, she would have been a better Phoebe. She just has the look and the charm. But you know what? Jay-Z does what Jay-Z does. So does Tiffany Haddish. I'm not the biggest fan of either of them, but it just feels right to profile here. Oh, and regarding the pairings of these friends, well, you obviously got platonic soulmates, uh, Joey and Phoebe, right? Obviously, you got Rachel and Ross, Ross and Rachel. I don't care for them as a couple, but they were the first. I gotta give them that. But with this being one of the finale photos, it's a shame that you don't have Monica paired up with Chandler. Lord knows they're my ship. Why don't you have Monica and Chandler together? And the bigger question, would all six of them make some room for one more? Me, as like the seventh wheel, so I could sit next to Monica? <sighs> that would be a dream! But again, such things like that exist in Friends fan fictions. The type that I would want to write someday. All in all, this is a lovely way for OK Magazine to go out, at least for this one of Roses and Rosewood. I bought seven issues of this magazine, but upon further review, one failed to make the cut because it failed to meet the criteria for this series. You know, Bachelor, Friends, Pretty Little Liars. The next issue of OK I have, which I'll review at some other time, has no friends. It only has The Bachelorette and Pretty Little Liars, but it's still a charming issue nonetheless. As far as this series goes, 
there's one last map to profile, and it's from a much more reputable source. You can fill in the blank. This is blank. Hint, 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 we kicked off the show with it today. You can mull that over until next week, because when I see you then, it's all gonna come full circle. Join me next week for a puffed up Roses and Rosewood finale. Thank you for checking this one out. And remember, two can keep a secret if one of them is dead. I'm gonna be famous! <laughs> by clicking on another awesome review like this one, top left, and be sure to subscribe by clicking top right. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side.